Welcome to our channel School of Geography India. In this video, we are going to discuss two theories on hierarchy of central functions and places. The first is the concentric zone theory. This theory was given by E. Burgers in the year 1925. He discussed about the development of a city outwards from a center in a concentric zones. But he made certain assumptions for this that city grows outwards in the concentric zones or rings if there are no physical barriers such as rivers or hills to distort the pattern. The city has single center. Growth is accomplished by a simple extension of each zone outwards into the next zone. Zone 1 Central Business District Zone The CBD is the heart of the urban community where the commercial, social and civic activities are concentrated. It also has office buildings, departmental stores, theatres, hotels, banks and civic government buildings. Zone 2 Wholesale and Light Manufacturing Zone This zone is adjacent to the zone of CBD. Here, the light manufacturing of household industries are generally established. Surplus from the other zones are generally distributed from here as this zone also perform the work of wholesale trading zone 3 low class residential zone here workers working in the light manufacturing industries in the zone 2 who need to stay close to their working place reside there are moderately developed housing societies people here stay in chawls or slums zone 4 middle class residential zone here middle class people stay houses are bigger and uh, better than they are in zone 2 it is the area of less densely populated people and mostly government employees stay here zone 5 high class residential zone in this zone rich people reside who have their own means of transportation. This zone is very less densely populated and generally free from pollution. Zone 6 Commuter Zone It is the zone where the super high class people prefer to stay. They have their very spacious bungalows, farms, etc. They have the ability to commute center business district, CBD, every day. It is generally located beyond the city limit and the area generally turn into suburbs the second theory is the sector theory h hot and m r davy gave this theory in the year 1939 according to this theory patterns of urban land use are conditioned by the arrangement of routes radiated out from the city center which create a sectoral pattern of land and rental values which in turn influence the urban land use pattern. They proposed that the land use develops near the CBD, Central Business District, and extends toward in the form of expanding wedges or sectors. The area closest to the CBD comes to be occupied by the lower income group people, while the richer people move toward the periphery. The middle class people prefer to stay in the area lying between these two types of residential zone. Hot also pays attention to the influence of the transport system on the urban land use pattern. Thank you. Thanks for watching.